Hi everybody, welcome to Check Savvy Sisters. This is our second show we've done here in Sisters in probably about a year. So we're happy to be back here and um, I hope everybody had a great Memorial Day. And we are going to do a little Alice in Wonderland project today. So I hope you'll stay tuned for it and I think you're gonna enjoy it. So we've got a lot of different things going on on it. I want it to be a little bit crazy, uh, but still pretty and something that a little girl would love. Um, or maybe a big girl, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. you, maybe you're a big girl that likes it. So uh, anyway, hi, hi, hi. I don't have comments yet, yeah, of course. I'm trying to get us the leg. Mom's yeah. still trying to find us. She'll find us in a sec. Yeah. Um, how is everybody? Um, hi, Tony. Aren't you about ready to come home, are. Tony? Okay. So, there you go. All right, Mom's got all the comments. Yeah. See what's going on. I can hi, see Lisa, Louise. Joanne. <laughs> hi, everybody. Hi, um, So, just like studio, when we're over here, hi, Mary White. When we're over here, we are um, all business. All business, very conscious of, well, not really all business. I don't think mom and I've ever been all business our entire lives. Except when she was running Montgomery Ward. Yeah, really. Um, <laughs> but uh, we try to keep all the high, high highs and everything to a minimum over here. So, hi, Marianne. Hi, Kenan. Um, okay, so what we're going to do today, and I've got, um, at the last second, I gave... Mary Zwinger, she's our moderator today. I think Sue Faina is uh, on a some kind of graduation or something. So I think we've got Mary today and um, she will, if she could find the links, because I had a hard time finding them. I tried to get uh, a hold of her before then and I had a hard time finding them. So let me just tell you what we're gonna be using today and I can tell you what everything's called. So. We're using this little lamp, which is just darling. I got it at Hobby Lobby about a month or two ago, and it was half off, $29.99. So 15 bucks for the shade and everything. So I was thrilled with that. These are little castings. These are Form Flex castings. So you can buy the silicone mold and make all of these yourself as how many you want. You can make them all day long. So I used Form Flex, so you'll want to, if you're not familiar with Form Flex, do me a favor and look up Form, it's F-O-R-M-F-L-E-X Compound on Facebook. Form Flex Compound on Facebook and formflexcompound.com um, for their website. And she does all kinds of tutorials. And it is my favorite of all of the clay-like substances it's my favorite of everything. So we're gonna use that. The silicone molds, um, I believe I bought them on Etsy. So we had some links, but just Google. Um, I just, this morning I put in Mad Hatter silicone molds, Alice in Wonderland silicone molds. That, that's where you can find all this stuff. Okay, um, real quick. Okay, um, go ahead. Julie, um, go to support at studiomdaz.com and Callie will be sure to help you. So the other thing I found that I love, and we haven't done this in a long time, but we are going to add transfers to our lampshade. And I'm a little nervous about it, so just so you know, I didn't practice. We're going to do it together and what just else is new? see how yeah. it goes. It might be a bust, but what I did is the very first thing I did is this lamp, I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can probably see, it had a lot of distressing on it that I didn't love. So I just did a quick coat over all of it. I haven't decided yet what we're gonna paint, how we're gonna paint this, but I know that once we get the lampshade done, it will throw us into the lamp and I think it's gonna be a ton of fun, but I'm also, here's the other thing I love about the Form Flex. It oh, cool. forms to anything. So I'm going to put some of these little uh, people. Little characters. Uh, right on this, I think that one was too big. I think it's this one right here. Yeah, look, she forms right to the lamp. And then I'm going to have this, look wonderland plate down here come on 
You guys know this yeah. is gonna be darling. Yeah, this is for you. This is gonna be darling <laughs> for sure. And if it isn't, oh well, we'll repaint the whole thing and do something different. But I, I think it's gonna work. So this is a little wet. What I did. Oh, why it's still a little wet? Let me just real quick try and dry this again. Hi, Julie. Uh, hi, Julie. Brenda. Hey, Mary. So I'm going to use transfers and. Let's see. So I need to pick some of the ones that I think will work best. Let me make sure my little stick is up here somewhere. What do you do? Here it is, my little stick. Um, you know, anytime you're doing canvas or like a lampshade or anything like that that has a light color, make sure you're using one of the clear sticks. Do not use those uh, brown wood sticks. I've used those before and don't use these what happens is it the brown rubs off onto your canvas or your lampshade so do not use those you could probably use a clear popsicle stick but i love these so some of the transfers come with these i want to think it's prima the prima transfers that come with these i don't know who made this but i found it on etsy also so all you'd have to do is do a search for Alice in Wonderland transfer. Alice in Wonderland transfer, Mad Hatter transfer. Um, you'll get a whole bunch of them. I got a whole bunch that popped up. So, and they're all different. This was just a really cute one, I thought. So, um, okay. And then we've got a lot of crazy stuff that's gonna go on the lampshade also. Cause you know, you want it to be crazy. Okay, let's just double check, cause you know how I am. Measure yeah. twice, cut once. <laughs> um, okay, I wanna make sure I've got the lampshade the right way. This is one of those, which I do like. So, Mary, would you post a link for um, Callie, for them to get a hold of Callie, please? Thank you. All right, let's see which one, which transfer I wanna do. Okay, so here's, what, here's what's on page one. Darling, darling, darling. Okay, this is the next page, which, OMG, if I think I can get this around the lamp, I think that's what we'll do, but I don't know. It looks a little scary to me. Well, the girls are loving this idea. Okay, good. And then this, oh, look how big this is. So, my thought was on this, I just got this new Lazy Susan from the uh, thrift store, and I've already base coated it. You know how it's that wood. But I thought, oh my gosh, I could put her right in the center, look it, with some things around her, not too much, because I don't want to, you know, muddy the waters, but then maybe a diamond, um, you know, a diamond pattern all the way around the back or behind her, I don't know yet, but I think this is gonna be super cute on here. And then there's also this page that I love. I love this little guy right here. <laughs> so, let me tell you what else I tried. It didn't work, but it was such a cute idea. So the other thing I was thinking is, um, when I had a Easter auction, one of my bunnies bit the dust and I saved his feet. But when I was trying to even out his feet this morning, I cracked the whole back of them. Oh. But in my head, oh my gosh. So if you have a bunny or something that is um, trashed, See if somehow you can get it to break off perfectly, because can I just tell you, that would be so, and look, it would fit up, it would fit right up in there, but on the back, you would see where it's broken, so I'm not gonna do it, but it fits right on there, and I thought that would be so stinking cute, but I blew it, so. Okay, let me put this one I down. Am. Yeah, and Mary said fix the feet with four plus. Um, I could if I was really creative and a professional crafter, but I don't know that I can do that. Let's just see if by chance this would work or if it would be a disaster. Um, it might work. It might work. Let's just try it. Let's cut it up and let's just try it. And then we can do something different. Um around the rest of it to just make it all flow really nice. I'm yeah, excited. I mean, you could make that as a mold. That could be a mold, those feet. Oh my gosh, we could. I've never done that. All right, that's something that we'll do with our product in our membership group. I always hate to talk about it, but in our membership group, we're now doing uh, product testing again. 
And that would be a great one for us to um, product test is to see if we can make our own molds. I know we can, I know other crafters do. Okay, I want the uh, I want that seam right in the back. I'm gonna double check it again, make sure I'm right. Um, you guys, I think this might work, but I'm not gonna get all the table. So I'm gonna have to get the table down a little bit. Um, yes, the lampshade is right side up. It is, yeah. I kind of like this. Let's just go for it. Let's just see what happens. We'll do a little at a time, which I think is probably the way to go. So the first thing I did is- Carmen, congratulations. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> you just joined This almost members. feels like a, a sublimation transfer. It better not be. Or <laughs> this whole project just went to the, to the, <laughs> the, the trash. Uh, let's see. Oh, you guys, I think it might work. Let's try, let me get it a little. Yeah, you'll lose the legs, but that's all. That's okay. She yeah. looks evil, doesn't she? She's got a little evil look. Okay, so the first thing I did is I gave my entire lampshade a top coat. Why? I don't know. I just felt like it would be easier. It might go on easier with a top coat. We'll see. Um, the lampshade isn't upside down. The no, it goes like it this. It goes that way. Look, it goes just like this, you guys. Yep. Look how cute. <laughs> They're all worried. I know. But I appreciate you guys having my back on that because yeah. generally I will screw something up. Yeah. All right, let's let get, let me get rid of all this stuff. It's everywhere. Let's try this again. I want to make sure the seam's right in the center back. And I want to get as much of the Mad Hatter's hat on there as I can. Do you remember how much the transfers were? Um, I believe... I want to say it was like twenty six ninety nine for that full set, or right? thirty nine. You guys, you know I'm terrible at this stuff. Now I'm really nervous about this. Okay, here we go. Woo! Okay, the lamp you bought where? The lamp is from Hobby Lobby. Okay. All okay. right, let's just see. All right, we're gonna have to be real. I'm gonna have to probably go a little bit slower with this so that I don't indent the lampshade. That could be the only issue what I can see us facing. No, it's not going down, hold on. I have another lampshade just in case. That's fabric, I wonder. That maybe I shouldn't have sealed it. I figured sealing it would do better, but I don't know. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, nobody panic, everybody. <laughs> this is why you should practice. Practice, practice. Um, okay. Where, where is it? Hold on, it's right in that closet, straight up. This is where we start losing people. But we'll figure it out. I just have to... Um, this one? Yeah, see but what that, kind... But that's fabric as oh, well. Oh, it's fabric as well, too. Um, okay, do me a favor. Can you go in the garage? We've got all kinds of lampshades, oh, yeah. but be super duper careful, because it's up on top. Okay. Makes me so nervous. Um, okay, let's, um, I have a backup plan. If this doesn't work, we're going to do a, um, if this doesn't work, I decided we would do a lemon, a really cute lemon lamp. So, um, but I pulled everything. I have so many cute things for this lamp. Uh, talk on it. All right, I don't have comments either, so let me get over here. Uh, nobody panic. Uh, would heat help? Would heat help? Um, thank you, Deborah. It's good to see you. Put a book or something hard in there. Dixie Bell, is that transfer you don't seal first? Um, it's possible. Um, so mom's gonna go get another one. Let's just give it a second and um, see. Uh, I don't think these are Dixie Bell unless you guys have done them and you know for sure. But these are two different packets, I thought. Let me just see if I can get like a clock. Let's just try something really small and see if we can get, or even like this teapot. All right, let's just try this. Because um, you never know. It could just be that one area. Oh, Lord. I just said yesterday, because I did uh, four, yeah, we did four total different projects yesterday. 
four different um, Fourth of July uh, Memorial Day projects. Everyone was uh, perfect. And I thought, okay, all right, we're fine. Everything, everything's gonna be fine. Oh, I just got comments. It is Dixie Belle. Crap, crap, crap. Put a can of beans under the shade. Uh, it just needs something uh, to hide it to give you pressure to apply. Yeah. Um, oh, Mom found two other well, lampshades. This, this not as porous. This one's pretty. No, well, I think the problem was that I sealed it. I don't think the problem oh. is. Um, Might have to do some adjusting. I don't know. Okay, shoot. Um, well, let's just try this. If this doesn't work, we're going to move to a new lampshade, and then we'll know. I really was trying to get ahead of the game and seal it. And Let me get you a paint can or something to put under. They said a can of beans, but it's too. Sh if the, if the uh, can of beans won't work, it would have to be something slim, like a tomato paste. But let's just see. I'm just going to try a little bit and see. Okay, now it's working. I don't know why. I don't know why that other one, but this one's working perfectly. So maybe you don't have to seal it, but it didn't hurt that I did it because now this is going down. Well, part of it did. All right. I think also you've got to have, we've got to get something really heavy under here. This must be why people don't do this very often on the lampshades. But... I really did think, you can see it's starting to stick. I really did think I had to seal this one. Underneath, like, like the, no, it's the rounded of... edge. Mm -mm. No, I need something bigger than that. Let's see, let me get my, here we go. Let me try this. There we go. Okay. I can get some of it down, but I can't get that top part down. Let's just keep going, let's keep moving and see what happens. I thought this was gonna be the easiest part of this project. Me can always do the base. I mean, it's, it's, it's down. Just give and, it a second. And once it's sealed, it'll stay down. Right? Yeah, it'll stay down, but we gotta get it down. So, um, unfortunately, I feel like you really got to press down. Let's, I'm going to have mom on yeah. one of these other ones that's not sealed. Let's do a, like a throwaway, um, one of these. Cause I want to make sure that for you guys, is it that it's a lampshade and I can't get enough, um, hardness underneath it? Or is it because I sealed it? Let's just see. Uh, I was telling you so many ideas. Uh, could you hear me? No. Put it on fabric, then apply to the shade. Okay, that's a good idea. We can do that. If this doesn't work, we could definitely do that, Billy Joe. That's a good idea. But I do feel like this is laying down. Okay. I'm gonna put this one. What are you using? Oh, okay. Um, you guys, the whole thing laid down, so I'm not sure. Look at that. And they wrap these, they really wrap them. Okay. It laid down, so I don't know if maybe it was wet, but I do feel like once we seal it, that'll be a piece of cake. So, uh, but you know how, uh, positive thinking I am. Let's just see, I'm gonna burnish it down okay, really well. you want well. me to burnish it while you do something else? No, because I'm gonna... Okay. Okay, so it worked, but I think it helped having something hard. There was nothing really to grab onto, but that sucker's down and it's pretty cute. You can burnish more with the paper if you need to. Uh, it is a pressure thing. Hi, Pam. Uh, it's definitely a pressure thing. Okay, so that worked, but let's see if we did not have to. Let's see if we did not have to do the ceiling. Mm, let me just get some 
Get a little one. Uh, well, Lucifer. we can do two. So let's do the little cat. Lucifer. Is that who that is? Yeah. Her cat's name was Lucifer? Oh, no, no, no. That was Cinderella. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Wrong movie. Like, Wrong movie. Sorry. Don't taint. Don't taint Alice for all of us. Uh, not all transfers goes down with seal or under it. Some don't want you to seal first. Yes, that is true. Some don't, but I'm just going to put this in the back and let's just see what's happening here. This, okay, so keep in mind, this is not sealed. And it is a firmer, a little stiffer. There's plastic under it. Yeah. So you should be able to do that one good. So it's the same, it, this is from the same uh, batch. It's all the same transfer. Mom, you gotta be on comments. I know you wanna watch, but you gotta be on comments. Because watch. there might be answers that we need. Okay. All right. Let's see. Hmm. What do we got here? I'm not feeling it going down very easy, you guys. Did you show what's in the auction today? No, not yet. Not yet. I will. After, so tonight, for those of you okay. um, that don't know, tonight is our auction in our member group, and we have like 80, 88 items. We have a ton. So it's going to be a big okay, auction so tonight. So you still got time if you want to join our member group. That's, uh, it would be a good way to see what we're all about. Faith, I'm sorry. And I there are a ton of fun. The cutting board will give you a firm surface to scratch the transfer. The cutting board. Okay. Right. Try it small. 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 flexible cutting board. But we don't have don't one. Have one. We don't have one, Faith. Okay. And I'm sorry, I missed a lot of comments. Forgive me. I was busy watching Debbie. Getting in trouble. Have Bar put her flexible leg in the lampshade. Exactly. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Congratulations. We're glad you joined. Okay. Here we go. Now, um, I'm not going to lie. I didn't think this went down any easier or any harder. I don't honestly know if it makes a difference, if you seal or not. But oh. um, it went right down. So... I don't know, you guys. Somebody I'm sure knows better than I do, but uh, it worked. So let's keep moving forward because that's what we do. And now we all know it. You can either see, you can either seal or not seal. So either way, it worked. Uh, let me get rid of that and let's go back to because I really did love this little uh, lampshade. Let's go back to this and see. But you can see it's still a little wet. So let me try and dry it a little bit more. Okay, here's what's interesting though. Look what's happening. Uh, can you guys, let's see, can you see? That inner plastic lampshade is starting to crack. So- oh, From the heat? It's cracking. No, not from the heat. There was no heat. It's cracking from me going Oh. So, I think Billy Joe's right. I think we need to do it on fabric and then apply the fabric. So we've got a, uh, two tea towels in that um, in the basket in the blue room. I think that's the best idea. Let's do that. Let's um, let's put them onto fabric and then we'll apply the fabric to the lampshade, which I think is a great idea. Um, Debbie Hauser, welcome. Yep, yeah, it's from the pressure. So, but again, this is what I do. I do this so you guys don't ruin your stuff. I will, you know, spend my money. Now, let me just say also, when it's upright, you can, you would never be able to tell. But I do want you to know that, and I would hate for you to ruin if you had a lampshade that you absolutely loved. I mean, there was two empty ones that hadn't been done yet. This one's fine. But it's got ladies on it. Yeah, I'm not gonna use the ladies. All right, so we're going to do trim on top and bottom anyway. So this doesn't matter, but I do need to iron it first. Um, that little iron is right there. Let's get it ironed. Good grief, you guys. Who would have thought this was gonna be, you know, a thing today? I you guys are all like, uh, all of us? Can you use some spray adhesive on first? That's a good idea. Um, we'll try that on this other lampshade. That's the other lampshade is our play shade, so we will try that. 
Okay, this will be perfect. Uh, honestly, this will work. I'm excited about it now. Uh, but because I haven't sealed this down, I'm gonna peel this right up because I don't want it to show. And, but it's down, just so you know. It's, I haven't sealed it yet, so I can peel it off. But normally you would not be able to. I just grabbed it really quick before anything happened. Okay. So. It's gonna take it a few minutes to warm up. Oh, that's the other one. Oh, I thought that's the one you wanted. No, it's okay. I don't know what this is. I was thinking the big square one. Um, so anyway, you guys, tonight's our auction, 88 items. And what we do is we auction off half and then we sell half. So everybody gets a chance to buy. And our sale items usually start between five and $10. And um, go. we have sale items that go only to about $30. So um, I know the ladies love that because then it's a great way for everybody to have a chance to try and win something. I'm gonna let you scrape that out for me if you can. Okay, let's try this again. I don't know where, uh, where did that come from? Is that the Timu one, I think? I don't know. I think right. I did just get that from Timu. No, uh, it's just, it's not as hot as the other one. But we do, obviously you need to get it um, ironed before you put it on your lampshade. I think it's gonna work, but. Hey, Shelly, yep, it is a fun time, the auctions, yeah. Oh my gosh, they're so much fun. I hope you guys enjoy it because it they're a riot. They really are, they're super funny. And if you're interested in getting into our group, Mary posted the link, it's uh, support at Studio MDAZ and Callie, will assist you. Hold on, you guys. I gotta get some water in here. That's why it's not, I can't get any steam out of it or anything. This is a little steam iron. Um, I think I got it at Timu. Put some, oh yeah, water, okay. But I can't remember now. Um, okay, let's see. They're super funny. We have a blast, yes. Oh, they are so funny. And they get to, here you go. It gets kind of rowdy. Um, I don't know what that just was, but um, no, I don't send any invoices. I just give you a call the okay. next day and tell you what your charges are. We, we invoicing with one person doing it and uh, hundreds of you out Sorry, there. Guys. Uh, whatever this iron is, I I don't think I recommend it because I can't get any heat out of it. I got another iron right here. Sorry, 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 sorry. There with us. Okay, what time is the auction? It's at four o'clock Pacific time, which is five o'clock mountain time and six o'clock central. Okay, so let me tell you, this one is amazing. This is the one I got on Amazon. It was, I believe, $56, and it worked perfect for uh, iron-on transfers. I mean, perfect for it. And this is how it comes, it's cute. Turn it on. Turn it on, <laughs> turn it on. Um, there we go, turn it on. Start, and you can do whatever, um, let's see, start. Whatever um, heat you want, you can just apply the, you can keep going with it. Let's see. It looks like a regular up. iron, it's just a little faster, I think. You can do how much time you want on it. We can, like right now, we can get it to 300 degrees. Can you see that? Uh, probably not, but. Okay. This one heats up pretty quick. So let's just give this a second. In the meantime, let's just go ahead and do our lamp. Shade, our, uh, lamp. Where do you go to attend the auction? It is on our Check Savvy Live. Facebook page. So if you want to sign up for Sisterhood, you go to our website, studiomdaz.com, and there's a sign up for Sisterhood there. And then once you've signed up and done all that, then you go to the Check Savvy Live Facebook page and ask to join that Facebook page. And they'll ask you what 
uh, what email did you use to sign up? And then we check, make sure you paid. And then, you, then you're in right then. So it's all right on Facebook still. Yeah. Um, hi, Mary Jane. Hi, everybody. Yeah, today at uh, 4 p.m. Ah, Grace, you joined. Grace joined. Hallelujah. Isn't that funny? I thought Grace had been a member forever because I've known Grace for a while. And I thought for sure she'd been one of us forever. I'm so glad you did. Uh, uh, Just suggesting we get back to the reason this page was started instead of... Okay. Everybody do play nice. I don't know what's going on. Um, all right. I'm just trying to let it get hot. I am so sorry. I'm sure this is like a bust for everybody, but I promise we'll get it. And once we get it, it will be fabulous. Grace, I'm so happy. Love to your husband, Gilbert, who we all love. Um, all right. It's going to work, you guys. Just it'll work. Look at me, I'm trying to convince myself. Uh, Gloria, the sisterhood is $25 a month, and it's just an auto deduct, um, but if, um, hi Golda, uh, if you use um, our annual, if you pay annually, you only pay for 10 months, and then you get two months free. So that's fun too. Is okay. Good enough? I think we're getting there. Get it oh months. yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Good Lord, this project has just become one of my new nemesis. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put this aside. Let's just let everything heat up. I'm, I'm too impatient with everything today. I'll let mom work on that. Oh, you know what? In my bedroom, my iron is on and ready to go. It's on that little half wall. Let's okay. just do that. Um, is uh, everything else on floor before you burn yourself? I think the world, I, I think the universe is against me today. Um, hi, Vina. Okay, so I'm thinking if we're going to do this on our lampshade, and I was thinking I want um, the pink little dingle balls hanging down, or I've got florals. I didn't know which one would be more fun. We've got crown, bling crowns we're gonna put on her, plus our form flex. So I'm kind of thinking that this should be, I was kind of thinking it should be black and white polka dot, and then we do uh, the Alice's with a black paint with the gold all over it, like a gold rub and buff all over it. Uh, oh, Shannon, I'm so sorry. You guys want pink? I'll do pink. Uh, let's see. Um, would you guys rather do pink? Pink with white polka dots would be darling too. Uh, okay, let's do that. Let's do pink, as I think that'll play out better in the long run for, um, especially if you're gonna do it to a little girl, for a little girl's room. Hi, Tina. Uh, let's see, and we wanna get the right color pink, so I'm going to use my mixed coral. Let me see what else I've got. There it is, okay. So I'm gonna use a little bit of coral. Yeah, let's do pink. Pink dingle balls on the shade for sure. You like black and gold. I think we're still gonna do the black and gold on the, um, the our little people. Now you see what I'm doing. I'm using fuchsia, uh, royal fuchsia and crushed coral, folk art, crushed coral, fabulous color, and um, deco art, royal fuchsia. If I mix these two together with a little bit of white, I'm gonna get probably a perfect, um, I should get a perfect ballet, like a little bit of a ballet pink. Let's just see. It's not crazy, so we're gonna be right on that color in a minute. Just adding a little bit more. But this is what I always want you guys to know. You can mix all of your paints. You don't have to just keep buying a million color paints. But now look at that new color and look at our little dingle balls. Isn't that crazy? So we're right on the color and it's just a matter of mixing. You guys know I never do one color of anything, ever, 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 ever. It's always a number of coats or a number of different ones. Okay, great, great call on this one, you guys. This is exactly what it needed. And then I can just keep making more of that pink as I go. Um, we could do an ombre even, but I think this will be pretty because we've got, um, I've got diamond, 
black and white diamond uh, ribbon that's gonna go on here too. Um, it is a perfect pink, isn't it, Glada? But if you were to go buy these two, Royal Fuchsia and Crushed Coral, you can make any color under the sun with just those because you can have, if your um, project is more peach, then you've got your peach part in it. If you wanted that ballet pink like this, and it's just because I don't have a ballet pink here. So this is how I can get that done really fast. Here's the other thing. I try, um, you know, most of the time, I, I try and get most of, a lot of my project done ahead of time for you guys. So you're not just sitting around watching me. And then I saw somebody say the other day that they, uh, they prefer to watch it start to finish. So I don't know. They come out good? They go to enough, some of those creases just don't want to come out. Uh, let's, we'll add, I'll add a little bit more of this iron and then it'll be fine. So that looks way better than it did. Um, and Gail Richards is here. She's helping us with the auction. She's the one who, uh, she's one of our sisters and she puts all of our, uh, what's your color? Debbie, it makes you go, oh my gosh. I was, I thought it was a, like a paint question. Thank you. That's so sweet. Uh, you, you also prefer to, to watch just to learn your technique. You love, uh, okay. The dancing frog lamp. I have it too, and I've never done it. I cannot believe I've never done it, but I love that, the dancing frog lamp. You're on the uh, transfers, just so you know, the wheels of your chair. Okay. All right, let's just get this painted, and then we're gonna go right back to our, uh, right back to our shade, and thank God Mom's here, because um, that's what's going to keep us from breaking or cracking any more of our lampshade. Okay, Do any, does anyone here know if transfers hold up to the heat from a lamp? Well, There's we, no reason we they have wouldn't. found that anything, if you seal it, if you seal the transfer, you shouldn't have any problem at all. We've right. put lots of glued things on. We the have, lamp and we've never had a problem. But if we're going to glue, like today when we glue some of the trim on, we'll probably use um, just a hit of hot glue but then the majority of it will be like a fabric glue. So um, the, the hot glue, of course, does not work. I love the way you mix colors, it amazes them. Uh -huh. But you guys can do this, you just see, you just gotta have good eyeballs, that's all. Just some good eyeballs. Yeah, I could. I can go back and dampen these. If you're gonna be painting for a minute. No, don't dampen them because I- I was worried that they wouldn't stay. Yeah, no, don't dampen them because okay. I think that that shade was still a little wet and that's why we had an okay. issue with it. Aww. How pretty is this pink though? It is a perfect little girl room. So, not not the direction I was intending on going today, but I don't know <laughs> well, that it Teresa ever is. is loving this project. She's from Maine. Uh, Teresa from Maine? Oh, no, no, no. No, she's not. There's a town in Maine called Richmond. I was just thinking, because I had a, a brush order today for that. Did we get brushes in not today? Not yet. Okay. I'm down to two sets left. Two sets I of have. brushes, you guys. Yeah. Julie said, I don't have good eyeballs to see different colors. You don't? Well, here's the funny thing. Bill, uh, I bought him these new um, Skechers because um, shoes. he doesn't want to wear dress shoes, and I don't want him wearing old man shoes. So I got him these really nice Skechers. They're slip-on Skechers, but they look really good. Well, um, he, he, I got them in black and blue, and they have white bottoms. And they look more like loafers. They're just really nice. Anyway, I got them both, and um, Bill's colorblind. So last night we're sitting out by the fire pit, and I um, happened to glance at his socks. First of all, yes, he's you know, he's a gentleman. He's always going to wear socks with his shoes, no matter what. But uh, he had on black socks with his blue shoes, blue jeans, blue shirt, and I said, Bill. Hey, why why are you wearing um, black socks with your blue outfit? He goes, I don't have any blue socks, Debbie. The all I have are black. <laughs> He's got like 22 pair of navy blue, and he can't see it. So 
I get it. So I have to, I feel like I'm now the, the Granimals, mm -hmm. you know, that said, I should lay out Bill's outfit every she day She said, now. I bought the slip-on Skechers because of Bill, and I love them. Yeah. And they're washable. Yeah, no, he loves them. Marcella said her hubby loves them. And we put a little bit of white bleach on the bottom, white bleach, just bleach, on the bottom of where the white part is, and it cleaned it right up, and they look like new again. So, all right, I know that took an hour and 25 minutes, but we're done. All right, let's get this, and let's do our transfer, and I think we're gonna be really excited. I really do. Ah, uh, let me move that. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more heat just to see if we can get a little bit more of those out. They're pretty much, they're pretty much out. They're not bad at all. And it might even hit right where we, um, but I don't want yeah, that. that. Let's thing. take that off. Okay. So I was saying, I'm glad mom's here because she knows better than I do how to attach all this stuff. But I think it's interesting that we're trying this. I hope you guys are happy. Okay. Now, let's go. Um, you want to you want to see how how much fabric you need yeah. before you do it? Yes. So this is what mom taught us a long time ago. Well, it, on a lampshade that's that's not round, you have to go at an angle. But, but this if it's round, round, you just keep then going. Roll it. Okay. So we're going to go all the way to here. Okay. Um, so you saw that we've had a lampshade class, and we do. Um, we did lampshades a long time ago, how to recover your own lampshade, and uh, mom taught it, and everybody loved that class. Okay, perfect, and now I'm gonna go in the center of this. Let me just get that. But I'm telling you, this iron, I absolutely love. I think it's a great one. But it's actually for transfers for heat transfers right it is it's for iron-on transfers but look at because here's why i love it it has a perfect if you're doing a heat transfer it's the perfect size and it gets the same amount of weight and uh pressure everywhere okay hopefully that will adjust and the other thing i need to see real quick is how high and I'm going to go ahead and keep that seam on the top. So, so I can cut the rest of this off. So okay. You don't have to drag it into something. So this has now become a lampshade class on top of everything else. But this is all. If you want to recover your lampshades, go buy fabric and um, do exactly what we're doing. And roll it so you know how much you need. Iron it first and then use your fabric glue or whatever you're using and you will have a, an entirely brand new gorgeous shade. How fun is that? All right, so where are we at? We're right here is where, can you give me a, one? A pencil mark. Just give me a cut, cause that's, we've got trim that's gonna go there. Uh, Mom's left-handed, so she can't, I'll do it. Nope, oh, those are gone. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, right here. All right, here we go. This time we're really gonna do that. Oh yeah, totally do that. Uh, change out, if you guys remember, we did. We had that class and uh, everybody loved that class. Uh, Liz, thank you for that uh, testimonial. <laughs> okay, let's try this one more time. I want the guy's head in it. I've already got, I only need half of the table. Okay. All right, I'm excited. Don't get too close to the top because you might want to put trim on. I am going to put a tiny bit of trim, but it's okay. I oh, need okay. I need a little bit of everything. Oh, okay. All right, let's just burnish this down. I know, Susan. This is you know, we always say we're not a one trick pony. We can do it all over here. We just can't do it well, but we okay, can do Maria it. Maria asked what the best sewing scissors. I use the ones that um, Debbie doesn't have a pair in here right now. That you work with one hand. They they're just wonderful. I forget what they're called. They're Fiskers. They're Fiskers scissors, but I just want to see them. They have. Um, I thought you had one in here. I know you didn't care for them, but they operate with just one hand. I mean, they're just perfect. Okay, guys. 
tell me what's going on here because um, everything is sticking. Is it because it was a little hot still? Maybe. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. Let's get that. Um, let's just see. Anyway, right? Robin, All right. We who's gonna start praying for me? Come on, you guys. <laughs> I could have understood if they took my page away because they're like, yeah, you do not qualify as a professional. I We're, you're gonna have to move along. Fran, sister. you're late, you're late, you're very late. Well, you're at the right place with this, with this particular craft. You guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, I think you do need to seal first. Mary said put some heat on it. Put heat on it? Well, it'll, it'll I think that's it. the problem. Um, it's not sticking down? Uh, not only is it sticking down, everything's sticking down, the plastic and everything. Oh, really? So, uh, I'm going to be anxious to see if this... Hold on. Let's just see what's happening. Okay, there we go. I, I just had to get that one started. And once I got yeah, it started, go. it's fine. Okay. I know you guys were all like, uh, what else can I do today? <laughs> uh, heat tool, not heat a heat tool, iron. Oh, okay. Iron. Okay. Susan said, do you guys all think that'll work? Because I'll do it. Do it great. Hi, Jan, <laughs> my friend from Iowa. How do you clean your scissors? Debbie doesn't. I clean. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but have you guys ever seen mom um, can sharpen scissors by using, if you've got a coffee cup with the that ceramic that's got that rough edge on the bottom, what is that? What's that called, mom? Um, a rough edge on, on the a bottom. on the bottom of a yeah, ceramic cup. Uh, <laughs> I will. Lynn Roberts, thank you for having faith in me. Let it cool down. Yeah, I was thinking, <laughs> thank you for the bloopers. Yep, the nobody panicked. The probably affected it. Take a deep breath, I say. I'm okay. I just, um, I get nervous because I don't want to, you know. Waste your time. I'm a pleaser. I don't want to disappoint anybody. So, and I also, I'm a learner. And so I like to make sure what's working and what's not. And this is working. So, look. He is so adorable already. This is totally going to work. Now Tracy said. And now you guys um, have to hang out with me so that you see how we okay, attach where it. Where was Tracy's comment? I think you have to seal it. You did a purse and the transfer didn't stick until you sealed it. I sealed this and it didn't stick at all. So. Maybe the fabric who has knows? to be washed to get rid of who the Who knows? I oh, know. I think we've talked about that before. Yeah. But as long as you're um, getting your little stick in there. I mean, it is all coming straight down for me. It's really doing really, really well. But to answer the question on the scissors, um, honestly, with Debbie's scissors, I just use a knife or another pair of scissors and scrape the adhesive off the best I can. And then she uses something called Awesome. It's a cleaner, and it works pretty good on almost everything. It does, so, you guys. You just have to work it. And it's you can get it, it's called Awesome, you can get it at the Dollar Tree. And um, if I get paint on my clothes, if I can get the Awesome on it right away, that I can get the paint out immediately. Uh, this is so much easier, can I just tell you? Um, I was trying way too hard on that lampshade too. <laughs> Joby said this is the, going down so easy. The scissors on the coffee gives her the chills. It's kind of like, your fingernails on a black. Oh, for sure, and it is that sound. Yeah. It's totally that sound. But can you guys see what I'm doing? By putting the stick inside, can anybody yeah. see what I'm doing? Uh, <laughs> by putting the stick inside, it's helping it lay down as we go, but you don't want to do that too often because you really should not be touching these transfers because they're, they're pretty fragile. But as long as you're burnishing as you go, you're not gonna have any problem. Look at this. What model is I'm your so happy. tool? Which one? My oh, heat gun. Like the heat gun. Um, and I do like this heat gun. It's a Genesis. Somebody told me about it, and it's pretty powerful. And it has two different um, uh, power. Like I can either do it a little bit lower power or higher power. You're fine. It's fine. Everything Everything's fine. fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. And they were just saying you this. can do anything and make it work, and they're very proud of you. So Thank you never you. disappoint. Well, I never give up. I won't give up. I'll tell you Transfers that. Transfers take patience. Might of kill which myself. I have very little. Me too. Believe me. Uh, what color is the awesome? It's yellow. Yeah, it's yellow, and it's kind of got an orangish yellow. Look at this, you guys. It is <gasps> fabulous. Perfect. 
It is so good. Why wouldn't I? I'm still thinking that would have gone down. It on would there. have. It would but have gone down cracking. on there, but it was cracking our lampshade, well, and I did not want to take any more chances. Older than usually. No, know. it came with this new lamp. Oh, really? Well, it doesn't mean that it's yeah. not older, but. But sometimes in the dryness, can they I just, will crack. Oh, can I just tell you how much? Look at. There's not one speck of anything on this. Um, Billy Joe, you thank awesome. you because this is uh, perfect. How do I get it? Yeah. I get it at Dollar Tree. Oh, okay. Because somebody tried to order it off of Amazon and they wouldn't ship it. Oh, really? I buy it on, I feel yeah, like I have White's bought it. Yeah, Dollar Tree. Yeah, okay. I feel like I have bought it on Amazon though. Well, hey Lori. Is that my Lori? Oh, Lori Leshner is our Lori. Yeah. Lori Leshner, you guys, is my mom's stepdaughter. Yep. Uh, so is uh, Susie, Susie Berg. Berg. These yeah. are both my stepsisters, yeah. Bob's daughters. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy with this. I can't even begin to tell you. Do you top coat the transfer after you put it on the fabric? Well, apparently now we do. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Even if I just wanted a cute tea towel, how fabulous is that? I feel like there should be an applause sign somewhere. <laughs> I thought we had one. We used to. But now I really do want to get this burnished down. Nice. Um, right. Yeah, we will seal. We're, we're going to seal. We probably will seal. Yeah, Bob's in the house today. Wonderful. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Oh, Bob is in the house. All yeah. right, everybody be nice. Don't Nobody can talk about Bob. Uh, it is my happy place too, Karen. Goo Gone. That's another Goo Gone is an amazing product. Yeah. Okay, so all I'm doing is just burnishing it down really good just to make sure we're copacetic, which I think we are. And then, where is my cut? I went over my cut, so the cut is right there. All right, so let's try this one more time. We're yeah, going to start. Measure twice. Yep, measure twice. I've got it the right way. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Look at that. Now, and I, I actually really like that it's white. I, the one thing I was struggling with was that it was more of a, a tan color as opposed to white. So I want this right on the top. So do you suggest, Mom, that we start gluing right away? No, I suggest you cut it the size you want it first. Okay. See, but that's gonna... why you get a twofer with us. You get a two for one. You get me who really is not afraid to try anything and you have my mother who knows what the heck she's talking about most of the time. <laughs> you wanna leave yourself enough to fold it under. Yeah, I will. Okay. So there's that. And that. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and leave that excess. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, I think I'm gonna start gluing because I need to know where I'm at. Mom's okay. saying no. That's all right, go but ahead. But I, I think I need to, Mom. I'm not listening today. Okay. Uh, what am I gonna use? The well, whatever fast craft want. tacky? And now that won't hold immediately. I mean, but the glue gun will. So Yeah, but we have to do more than glue gun. So where's all well, then the, use the fast fabric tack? I'm gonna use the fast tack, yeah. yeah. Look at this, this fast grab tacky glue. We are in love with this stuff now. You might need a pin to open it up. Uh, let me get my... Let, hold on, let me get my toothpick holder. Huh. How fun is that? No, stuff like that. It was, it was $6 on uh, Amazon. and Gadgets. It, it gadgets. has brought me so much pleasure and joy. Uh, hi, Kathy. Can you add Studio MTAZ videos to your YouTube channel, please, please, please? Uh, Brenda? Yes, we can. I okay. need to... Wait a minute. Is this the right yeah. way? Okay. Uh, yes, but I need to have Callie have time to do that. You can't believe how long it takes to, because um, we have to download it and then we have to upload it again. So it takes a while for Callie to get those done. Um, is there one in particular you're looking for that I can at least get on there first for you? Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm telling you, Kathy, you can you can tell. Mom is all about this. She can, she she, can feel my breath on her neck. Oh, I totally can. Like, she's dying to get in here. But the Fast Grab Tacky Glue is 
fabulous. It really it, is. It, it fast grabs. so good. I was first introduced amazing. to it by um, Joanne White, and we have, I have a... a oh, that's right. Joanne sent it to yeah, you. Yeah, I have a holder for it at home that it keeps it upside down. That's why I gave her a little tiny bolt, a dish here to put it in upside down. Yeah. So you don't have to constantly shake it. The reason we've got this on the bottom of it, it doesn't come like that. Um, there, there happened to be a yeah, tiny what little. What happened? Yeah. I don't know. There's a tiny little cut in the bottom of it. I think it might have got on something sharp. Yeah. And so when you squeezed it. The glue all came out of the bottom. And, yeah, it was squeezing all out the bottom all over my desk. I was like, what? what is happening right Flip now? Flip the material to the lamp with clothes, pins, or paper clips. Great and, idea. And, and I have both. Where do you have Great them? idea. They're right here in this drawer, right in front of my lap. Okay. So, that's uh, a great idea. Yeah. Um, and we're going to use stickles, of course, you guys. We're going to use stickles to uh, enhance everything. Come on, this might take seven hours, but it's going to be so darling by the time we get done with okay, it. Okay, screenshot this, ladies, because it's awesome. That and was such a good idea. It. Look at this. Yep. And I have these cute yep. little I use these all the clips. time. I don't know why I never thought about it. Okay, I just started using V7000 with the fine tip. It's yeah, we like product. that too. Yeah. Mom used that. Um, we did. We've got a bunch of accessories. We've got hats and purses and t-shirts. We've got all kinds of stuff in this auction. Look at how good that fast wrap. And it wrap. all needed bling. Uh, it needed bling. So mom used a lot of B7000 and oh my gosh, I am so happy with this. <laughs> Can't stand it. Is this the right one that I was using? Yeah. Yeah. All right, forgotten. Didn't keep, keep it upside, upside down. down. Uh, Mom's right, find something that you can keep it upside down in. Okay, let's see, what do we got here? Arlene's Fast tack, Tacky Glue, that's correct. Aline's. Aileen. Uh, yeah, Aileen's. It's A-L-E-E. -E. But, oh my gosh, you guys, here it is. Aline's. Fast Grab Tacky Glue. We've been using it. I took it with me for uh, Dina's event when we were in Kentucky, and um, it was able to hold the little picture frames that I needed it to. So, yeah, it works. Um, yeah, you got a lot of those clips, right? That's the new memorial one, um, the Valentine banner. Oh, yes, this banner is in the auction as well. It is in the auction, but this, uh, the instructions for this are on our membership group, I believe. Aren't they? Yeah, I'm yeah. almost positive we did yeah. that in our member group. Nope, the fabric's not upside down. We're, we're doing good. This is one of those lampshades where the inside is really deep. I love that you guys have zero faith in me, and I've never given you a reason to <laughs> yes, question Nancy, me. Yes, Nancy, we're all at our places. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Shannon, go to Joanne's with a coupon and get it. Yeah, don't use the tacky glue from Dollar Tree. No. Rhonda, okay. you're making the banner right now? You I'm are? I'm so glad. You Rhonda make sure who? you take a picture of it. Rhonda who? Rhonda Ritchie. Oh, Rhonda, I'm impressed. Colleen, you've been using this glue for 40 years. Yes, um, Aileen's glue is awesome, but this is called the Fast fast Grab Tacky Glue, and it really okay. is a fast grab. You guys, this is it's so adorable. Gorgeous. And wait till you see when we get all of our trims on and everything, it's going to be just fabulous. Now, this bottom. Robin, you have zero faith in us? <laughs> I think you maybe. Have didn't mean it quite that way. Yeah, it's on the right way. So do you want me to um, fold under? Is that what you're saying? Well, you need to be able to fold. But I'm gonna have trim to there also. Leave yourself an extra half inch. Okay, I'm leaving myself an extra half inch. Okay. This makes mom nervous, because I'm, I'm honestly, I, I thought I was a good cutter, uh, but I, I was told once that I'm not. So that was disheartening. <laughs> is it washable? No, I don't think so. no, not with the, uh, no way, not with the no. transfer on it. Oh, and I don't, I can't imagine anybody would want to. Nancy just started her radiation treatment today. She Nancy. feels fine. Oh, good. Oh, Aileen used to have a craft show on TV yes, years ago. Yes, years ago. Um, okay. 
So now let's fold this under, right mom? You wanna fold this under and then we'll put the That's trim correct. over top of it. Easy peasy, look at this you guys. Um, but this is the same process you would do if you are going to put fabric. Turn it upside down. I know. Is the glue washable? I do believe it is after 24 hours, but not with hot water. Yeah, I think so. Let me look at one. Don't quote me yet. Hold on. I, I got to get all of it down. There we go. I got to get a good handle uh, on this all first. All purpose glue will not run. It always tests for best results. Um, doesn't say it is. So I'm going to say it isn't. Oh, it doesn't say it's washable? It does not say it's washable. Interesting. I, I, I would have been surprised because the regular tacky glue isn't. Huh. So I was hoping maybe it was, but it's not. I'm going to I'm gonna get all this folded in. Don't forget, we've got our pink dingle balls that are going over this. And um, then I'm going to... You guys, like, uh, you know me. A hack crafter, and look at how darling this is going to be wait till we get all the trim on and i also get some stickles we put a crown on her yeah mary it's from a spot be super clean. that's cute. the best thing to do with any of your craft items is spot clean okay um I keep doing that i'm not used to yeah. having it upside down but i need to remember to do that okay cute 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 Shannon said, I don't sew, but sometimes I glue to the hem. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Um, I don't sew at all. You would think I would be a fabulous little seamstress also, but um, I took home ec. I took sewing in home ec, but that was it. I'm open this door because I'm dying. Other than that, I didn't really, mom didn't really teach me. Uh, probably because I didn't really ask for her to. She never wanted to learn. I tried. Okay, it's that, so I cute. Think. Beyond it the is. Cal Kathy Bellhausen says you're killing it today, Debbie. Thank you, Kathy. Kathy has the cutest little granddaughters. Really? Yeah, we got to meet all of our little granddaughters. I'm gonna cut no. this. I might what? Well, I was gonna say you. Yeah, I might want to trim because that's going to be a lot of bulk under there. Yeah, okay. Um, pull the fabric tight. That's correct. Can one use Scotch Guard spray on the shade to protect it? Sure, you I can spray anything sure. on it. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. It's adorable. It's so cute. All right, let me, uh, you're right. Let's get as tight as I possibly can. And let me get that under. And then we're gonna put our trim on and then we're gonna start embellishing. Yeah, that's right. Um, I did all of her sewing so that she could acquire other skills. And there isn't much she can't do, I will tell you that. I can't cook. No, you can cook. You don't like to cook. I don't like to. I like to bake, but uh, mm -hmm. you don't sew. Oh, thank you. Mom did, yeah, mom did. Isn't it so cute, Linda? Um, here's the thing though. if would you go get a piece of fabric so you can show them exactly how to do? Put the glue on this. Not on okay, let's show them how to do that. Um, this will be a twofer. Mom's gonna go you get a piece to... of fabric and show you exactly how a to. The lampshade the other time. Okay. Yeah, how to actually do the lampshade because as long as we're doing this and we're already so far into it. Hi, Linda. <laughs> Kathy Dean, start the bidding at one fifty. So I still think it's a riot that Peggy Eaton is going to be at my house tonight helping us with the auction. So poor thing, she can't, she can't buy anything. Okay, I am thrilled. Let's get this down. Okay, love the idea of those little deals. And it left me enough room to just pull one more time really tight. Okay. Now, we're going to use the, this is only if you have a lampshade that's like, like a weirdo this, shape like yeah, that. Wider on the bottom, narrow on the top. Okay. Um, can I use this for a minute? Yeah. 
<laughs> you can see this desk area. Oh my gosh, wow. there's stuff everywhere. I'm not sure that we have enough room to do this, but we're gonna try. I want them to at least see what how you okay. would do it. We start, what we have to do is make sure that we have enough fabric for something round like this. And what we start, we do is we roll it. Are you rolling it in I angle? I gotta go the other way, Yeah, this way. Are you rolling at an angle? You're just... Are you just um, rolling? I'm just rolling. You know, it automatically goes at an angle. You see what, what's happening so here? So if you're doing stripes, this would not be the way no, to do it. No. Okay. Stripes you have to do in panels. Yeah. Okay, but if you have a funny little fabric like this, you just put your lampshade in one corner of it, get it up to the corner, like that, yep. and then you start to roll. And you take your pencil and... So, and you hold on, your pencil is, this is your pattern. So, mom generally does this on tissue, like a piece of tissue paper first. And makes a pattern. And makes a pattern, and then uses that pattern to cut the actual fabric. So, how far off? You go at least a half inch off so that you have something to so turn look, under, so like then, what Debbie just did. But while mom's doing this, if we were doing this on tissue paper while she's rolling, you would also be penciling the That's whole exactly way. exactly right. Okay. You're making a pattern. And then you do that on a piece of tissue paper, like a big piece of tissue paper, and then you've got your pattern, and it works perfect, and you're gonna do exactly what we did, like this. You do the bottom, which is and blue. then you do the top. You also roll the top, and you... But you do the bottom first. Do the bottom first. And then you roll the top. Just roll it. You're okay. welcome. Yeah, she makes a pattern first. Otherwise, you know, that's scary. Okay, so I've got this darling little rickrack that I thought would be cute for the top and the dinkle balls for the bottom. Uh, but I want to get all this on first, do the stickles last, because if you've used stickles, you know it takes a while to dry. But I think the rickrack. Oh my gosh, yes. So look how cute the rickrack's gonna be up here. And let's go ahead and do the dingle balls down here. And I'm also going to do a little bit of hot glue every once in a while on this so that um, it'll help hold down here. These don't dingle as much as I thought they would. Well, honestly, I think they're gonna be cuter. You, you do? Okay. I do. So let me do I a little like bit that. of a uh, pop of hot glue every once in a while, just for our hold. Oh, look at No, they're adorable. Oh my goodness. Look. Oh. Gosh. Yeah. Wait a I hate hot glue. Look. Okay. Look how cute. Yep, yep, yep. That's what this needed. And, um, okay, let me do the tacky again. But I'll tell you what. That tacky glue, it it's grabbing it really you well. You really don't need the hot glue. I don't think I do either, because no. I don't like using it. No. But um, it's yeah, Viv, grabbing instantly. You, you need to make those, Viv. And this was, uh, the trim all came from Hobby Lobby back when they were, you know, had all their trim out. Uh, and this was one of the ones that was on sale, because I got the mm -hmm. whole, what is it, skein? Is that right? The oh. skein, or what is it? That what? <laughs> the what? Is a skein? Is, is that it? what that's called? A skein of if when you buy it all together, like on a on a oh, board well, like that. What's it called? A skein is yarn. This isn't yarn. Oh, okay. But this is whatever. Just buy a bunch. Yeah, they said that's so sassy. Oh, it's a bolt. A yeah. bolt. Okay. You know, it's that awful when you can't think of words. Okay. Oh my gosh, that could have been any easier. I'm gonna. I don't want all that to get. Funky, so I'm gonna get some yeah. glue in there. Oh my goodness, it's so adorable. Look at that. All Is right, that gonna be in the auction today. This will be in the auction today. Yeah, wow. we're gonna put a lot of okay. um, we gotta get a lot of stuff on it yet, but she needs a crown, uh, a real bling crown. So let me see which one she needs. Oh, she needs that Those big are one. The crowns with the funny ends, but we're using gold, so yeah, but I cut that off. There we go. Okay. So, okay, you guys know, just type in rhinestone crowns. You could get them all over the place. Peggy, too bad. Too <laughs> me late. too, Shelly. You can't have it. Uh, <laughs> let me get my tool. So, when I have, when they come like this, 
I just break that bottom off with my tool. Super easy. Just get that off because it's it's not going to lay right on her head otherwise. It kind of looks like a birthday cake. <laughs> Look at that. And then it goes down perfect on her head. So... Why don't you wait until we're... I think I am going to wait, but I wanted you guys to see. And this is also from that company, Il Fate Jour. Ilfatejourcollection.com is the new company. Mary, Mary has that link and she'll pop it up there for you. So when we're ready, it's the last thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put that on, but let's get the Rick Rack on. Tina, no, they're not dingly because mom can't find them. So they're I the had truth. some huge dingly uh, pink balls. I don't balls, know where they are. And I thought they would have been so perfect for this because they are um, super big, but oh my gosh, you yeah, guys, you already, now wait. Um, all right, here's our question. Do we want pink rickrack up on top or do we want this on top? What do you like, Mom? Oh, I like the black. I do too. Do you guys like the black or is it too much? Uh, the T in... And the, right, the, the Il Lafay. Il Fajor. Yeah. Um, and somebody told us what it meant. Um, what, Pam what Elliott it told me what it meant. And I don't remember. Is it um, new again or something like that? Uh, uh -huh. You like this one? You the like these? Black, you like the black. black? Okay, I did too. Yeah. I think it's just funky enough and perfect enough. And then I've got a, I've also got a big black and white diamond. Um, a big black and white diamond ribbon that's going to go on around the bottom. Thanks, Mary. So, oh my gosh. Again, you just have to have a million dollars in craft supplies and you too can make one of these yourself. Yeah, they're loving the black. Yeah, the black was perfect. Are you gonna pull some black into the base? Yes, that's with the, um, we're gonna do our little people. That's the next thing we're gonna do. We're gonna paint our little people black and then we're gonna put a gold over top of them so that they look more antiqued. You'll see, it, they look so much better rather than just painting them straight gold. Okay, Pam said it means your Pam knows. lucky day. Your lucky day, that's what it is. Matches my blouse. Yeah, that's right. It does. I love this. This is uh, this is Hobby Lobby also, but this was in the ribbon. This is just a ribbon, so you can get this in the ribbon. And in case you can't tell, these are little fuzzy. They are like little fuzzy balls. Yeah, they're cute. Okay. Gosh. Yeah, Natalie said LOL on the million dollars worth of crap supplies. All right, now <laughs> it's and here's what I love because. It's not hot glue. I've got plenty of time to mess with it. Um, so, so cute. All right, let's put Hi, the um, stickles on it and then we'll start doing our little people. Uh, that's glisten. Do you want me to stickle it while you do something? Yes, mom okay. will stickle. I'll get it started so you guys see. Just because mom might not start it right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can you find me a mercury glass right yep. there? This I is glisten. There today. Okay, yeah, this is the glisten and I need mercury glass. Uh, so in stickles, I like three colors. Uh, and they, these are Ranger stickles. You can buy them on ranger.com or Amazon. And I like mercury glass, glisten, or diamond. they are the only three I use. However, just know the diamond is the one I use around Christmas time because it throws off a, an iridescent uh, green, greenish color. So um, I don't like it as well, but I, I love it for uh, Christmas stuff. Okay, so with the stickles, all this is gonna do is just literally Cover up that enhance light. anything you want it to enhance. And it just makes it all, all it's gonna finish it is what it's going to do. It's going to finish this whole thing beautifully. The stickles will also, it's like a glitter glue. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. And um, so for instance, like I just pick different things that I want to outline. You're not gonna do the whole thing, but his little bow tie had polka dots on it. So those polka dots done with the stickles yeah. is perfect. Linda said she bought all three of those stickles. She hasn't used them yet. Oh, they're fun to use. They are so fun to use. Okay, so then maybe with his shirt, oh, look. Cecile, thank let's you. do 
uh, let's do, this had like a plaid pattern. So I'm gonna do that. The, whatever this is in, the, in between them, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some stickles in their ear. And then maybe a little right there, which would indicate the other side. Now, Kathy said it adds a visual 3D effect. It really does. Uh, since you can't see that one, you just put a little bit on the edge to give it the okay. illusion. They want to know the, um, where the uh, transfer is from again. Uh, we don't know. You're just going to uh, Google. It's um, somewhere on Etsy, I think. The transfers? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's where you have to find him right now. Okay. Somewhere on Etsy. But look at his bow tie. So anyway, uh, you can also do, like we could do coffee. Yeah, Sharon said, ha ha, you're doing it all. Yeah. I know, this is what I do. I always say I'm going to let people. Yeah, I know. But you guys know, I'm that's such right. a control. That's right, Vicki said so much for mom doing I know, it. I'm going right. to let her do Alice. I'm just a little bit of a control freak. <laughs> when it comes uh, to stuff me. like this, just a <laughs> tiny bit. I'm giving all of them a little bit of glitter on top of their coffee just because it'll pop it off. Okay, mom, now that I've done it, you can, all right, but remember, everything's wet, so you gotta be super I careful. You can't I touch anything. It. I got it. Okay, <laughs> all right, now let's do our people, and then um, we're gonna put it all together. All right, so I've got these. I want Wonderland on both sides and I want a person on both sides. So I've got two Wonderlands and... So do you want me to do Alice? Yeah, but just, you know, not all of Alice, just some of Alice. Okay, and I also have these little cards that I thought were cute. So I think what we'll do is here, let's do Alice. And like I said, she will form right to this, which is so cool. And again, if you are interested in the Form Flex, um, it's on Facebook, Form Flex Compound Facebook page, and you'll see all kinds of videos on how to do it. Um, and it's also on formflexcompound.com. All right, so rather oh. than paint her her colors, you yeah. wait, I just want the whole thing to look a little bit more uniform. I also think we need white polka dots on this pink. I think the pink's just sitting there. Okay, that's all I did to Alice. Is that enough? Too much. I'm oh, kidding. Man, scare me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that's it for what mom can contribute. Well, the lampshade, uh, the lampshade uh, lesson was amazing. I think everybody loved that. Okay, let's get, I'm just going to get all these painted, and actually, I'm going to let mom paint these. Really? For reals, for reals. For reals. And I'm going to polka dot the, um, let's do the cards. All right, so you're going to paint every single one of them black first. That's what you're going to do first. Paint each one black, and then we're going to do the gold over top. Let's move these, and while she's doing that, I'm going to put the... Uh, polka dots on this. Okay, I wanna... so I'm going to try to do comments of this too. You know, I'm going to multitask here. Yeah, Sharon goes, oh no. <laughs> I know. Okay, here we go. You guys, I have to pack up. Oh, first of all, I have a story I was meaning to tell you earlier. Um, so I just got this blouse, or it's like a little linen top because we're going to California for a month, and so I like to wear a lot of linen when I'm there. And um, so I hadn't tried it on or anything. I saw it at Old Navy in the window and I just ran in, grabbed it. And so it's got these sleeves like this. All right, so this morning when I put it on to make sure it fit before I ironed it, I took it off and when I took it off, this bracelet, which is not mine, fell out of it. Is that what? incredible? Serious? So somebody tried it on. Now, granted, it's oh. just like a $20 bracelet. You don't think it's expensive? No. Bill said, uh, I said, Bill goes, oh my gosh, Debbie, how much do you think that's worth? Two or $300? No, Bill. It's worth about 19 or 20 But I wonder if the lady who lost it maybe called the So story. here's what I think. She tried it on. She tried the shirt on, and her bracelet got stuck in there. And when I tried it on, the bracelet came off. So... I said to Bill, so for $19, which is all I think this shirt was, 
uh, I got basically dinner and a show. I got a bracelet and a shirt, but, and I like it. I thought it was really cute bracelet. So, uh, that was my story I meant to tell you guys earlier because I was I so excited about it. I think you call the store and see if she asked for it. Mom, do you remember what happened when Nicole tried to turn in two or three thousand dollars? I know, but that was the right thing. She did the right thing. She did do the right thing, but she'll never do it again. <laughs> uh, so, if you didn't hear, my daughter was about ten, went to Chuck E. Cheese with uh, one of my girlfriends and her daughter, and Nicole found a huge wad of money in a rubber band on the floor in the ladies room. So, and it was right in the stall where she was at. So she came out of the stall and showed our friend Denny like what it was. And you know, Denny said, well, Nicole, we gotta do the right thing. We need to uh, take it to management and um, you know, give it back. Cause somebody's really missing it. It was a lot of money. I don't really don't remember how much, thousand. exactly how much, but it was, it was like a couple thousand dollars. And so, um, Nicole did. She went to the manager, said, I just found this on the ladies room floor. But granted, she was about 10 years old. And he said, oh, okay, thank you. That was really nice. And that's what he said. And Denny said, wait, hold on. What if nobody claims it? And he said, well, if nobody claims it in 10 days, you can have it. So he said, we'll keep it in the safe. And if nobody calls and claims it in 10 days, then, um, you know, the, the, the little girl can have it. So Nicole was all excited. And then we started calling every day, Chuck E. Cheese, to see if anybody had claimed it yet. And nobody had claimed it up until day eight. Day eight, suddenly someone claimed it, i.e. the manager. Mm -hmm. And can I just tell you, Nicole was devastated. And um, so she said, Oh, I'll never turn anything in again because that was the lesson that she got out of it. So what a creepster manager that would have done that because that it was such a good lesson. It could have been a really good lesson in doing the right thing. She still did the right thing, but um, it was really disappointing for all of us because uh, they, you know, obviously the management just stole it. Whoever was there and saw it just stole it. Can you imagine calling a store like Chuck E. Cheese um, eight days after you've lost a couple grand? Yeah. Is my money still there? <laughs> oh, dear. I bet it was sad. Anyhow, what do we got going here? I can't trust to even turn money in case someone else will take it, too. Yeah. Did she at least get a, a few pizzas? Out no, of it? that's no. the whole other thing. They didn't even so pick up they the asked, No, Denny called that last day, and um, they said, "Oh yeah, somebody you know claimed it." And Denny was like, "What?" And they go, "Yeah, somebody came and claimed it." And Denny said, "Well, did they not leave a reward for uh, Nicole?" And he goes, "No, no, they didn't." <laughs> it was all scam. Without question, it was just that guy took the money. So, anyway. Well, if he was really smart, he would have said day one. Oh, yeah, they came back and claimed it right away. But he didn't. He got her excited. So, you guys, um, while I'm doing this, I guess I should be saying, uh, if you haven't heard me say this a gazillion times, key a good polka dot is a fresh coat of paint and a really good polka dotter, it, which in this case for me is almost always any, uh, the bottom of an eraser. I wonder if that word is in the And I like the these dictionary. big ones. A polka dotter, you think? I don't know. All right, then we're gonna dry this and then we're gonna put it all together. Sorry this took so long today, you guys. I was not at all prepared for the uh, lampshade. That lampshade <laughs> issue at all. I, I really thought I had my act together. I don't think they mind. I think they enjoy. You gals okay? Everybody okay? It's probably into your lunch hour for some of you. Yeah, and then I got it. I've still got a million things to do to get ready for our auction tonight yet. But yeah, this will be in our auction. 
Okay. Okay. What, the... what she can do in two minutes takes me ten. So. They okay. love watching. They're okay. Oh, okay. those are sweet. All right, let's get this dry. Vicky said, they're oh, well, okay. I'm not tired. <laughs> Uh, erasers are the best polka dotters, aren't they? They're so good. Yeah. Aw, thank you, Kathy. You know, you didn't get all perfectly organized before going on the air. I know, because I'm not a professional. Still so funny that somebody had the nerve to say that to me. <laughs> Sweet. You can't tell they learn so much from the ooh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why everybody usually is counting on an oop somewhere along the way because uh, it usually is pretty funny, actually. Um, okay. okay. You might want to put the heat gun on these three because I don't know how dry they are. Okay. Let's get some. Um, okay. This is the pent art. And when I get. Um, oh, no. This is. Uh, P-E-B-E-O. This isn't pen art. I got this from Vintage Retail Therapy. Uh, that's Mara. It is P-E-B-E-C-O. There's all kinds of them. It's just a gold paste, but I, I really like that one. It's completely dried up. So I'm going to put that aside because I know there's a way to fix it, but um, I don't have it in me right now to do that. Let me see. Here is a Golden Rule Gilding Wax. Okay. See, they're all, you can get any of this stuff. This is, um, yeah, what is this term is the oh, this is Deb's right? DIY. So this is Vintage Retail Therapy. This is Golden Rule Gilding Wax. It was $15, but look, I've had it for almost a year, and that's all I've used, and so, and I use a lot. So, look. Yeah, that's awesome. What a difference that makes Ooh, rather than perfect. if we just put the gold on, it looks too cheesy. Too brassy. Yeah. But by doing the black first. Mm. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Look how adorable that comes out. And now every little piece Is of it her. Is it like a rub and buff? It's kind of like a rub and buff, but I like it way better. I'm not a humongous fan of rub and buff anymore. I was for a little bit. Uh, but not as much okay. anymore. Okay. Thank you. All right, let me dry those, and then um, I'll we'll get these done. Huh? Oh, this is really dry. <laughs> Pamela said, you don't need anybody for design. Your designs are fabulous. <laughs> okay. Now look at these little cards. Those are cute too. Yeah, and you would never see that if you didn't put that on. No, it just looked like a big blob. I didn't know what it was when it was with the clay uh, until I, I looked at it really close and I could see what it was. Where did you get the little people? They're form flex, aren't they? They are, it's from a silicone mold and um, I'm trying to remember where I got the mold but I know that you can get the mold on Etsy. Just type in um, Mad Hatter or Alice in Wonderland uh, silicone mold. Okay, Vicki. And then you can make tons of them. Know why you prefer this to this, what you're using on your finger? Why do you prefer it? I don't know. I feel like I have better control over it than the rub and buff. I really do. I mean, look at how that comes out. Vicki, did that answer your question, hon? I, I'm not sure. Let me show you. Whoops. <sighs> Had that gone on my shirt, I would have been like, no. Uh, I've got wrapping up right here, guys. Let's see. Hi, Annette. Yeah, you're late. All right, so here's Rub and Buff. This is Antique Gold Rub and Buff. I'm just gonna show you the difference. It's uh, definitely a different color. Mine is more yellow gold. And this is uh, more of a kind of a coppery gold, but let's just see. Patty loves this project. Judy, the okay. options at four You're gonna be Pacific. able to see a huge difference in these two. Hold on. 
big. Oh, that's the rub and buff. This is the rub and buff, big difference. You gotta get a little bit, like pull, get some pushed up and then rub it you on. You have to use your fingers? Uh, yeah, kind of. I mean, you could use a paintbrush, but you gotta use something. Uh, I'm so glad we tried this so that you guys can see the difference. Okay, and maybe you like it better, but this is Rub and Buff. It's like a coppery color, and that's their antique gold. This is, oh, look at the difference. It almost has a little green, uh, like a tin cast to it. It almost looks like tin. So it's a matter of your, your preference, whatever you like better. I personally like the gold gold, but um, you do you. Doesn't make a bit of difference. I like them both. So now I can just go back over this one. Oh, they thank you for showing the difference. With a little bit of the gold. Oh, oh man. a big difference. I there think so a, too. I think there's a big difference, yeah. But now, I got, now, because I did that, I gotta get a little rub and buff on everything so they all even out a little bit. I just need to put a little bit on her. But, um, isn't that crazy? Make sure I get it all over her. Um, the rub and buff stands out, whoops, a oh, little Billy bit more. Jones, thank you for that. Billy Joe was all over that uh, lampshade today for me. Appreciated that. Okay. Okay, uh, Beth, we will definitely pray for you. She has lung cancer. Beth, Beth who? Beth who? Beth Sipos. Beth, oh my gosh, yeah. my friend. All right, honey, we, we will definitely add you to the list. Absolutely, and uh, you will have all of our sisters yeah. uh, praying along with us and with you, and I am so sorry. What a um, Thank you for letting horrible, us scary know. thing that you have to deal with. Yeah, let's get this uh, stickles down a little bit better too. Okay. I think these are dry. I'm just making sure, so I'm going to seal it. Hi, Carol. Great to see you too. But I'm going to seal it after I get our little people on. Okay, so the first thing let's get is straight across. Let's do uh, let's do Wonderland because this is what's going to be seen. And I'm going to use Tight Bond. Tight Bond works the best with the um, Form Flex, according to Tammy, uh, who is the owner. Here's the other thing we love about Form Flex, you guys. Um, we are friends with the owner of Form Flex, and um, she's also one of our sisters. Uh, and so anytime you have any questions about Formflex, we just ask her. So it's, it's awesome. All right, let me get a little brush so I can brush this on. Okay, so is this Wonderland? Yeah, so we're just gonna brush it on. You guys are so sweet for hanging in there. Oh my goodness hour and a half. I really do try and not do that, but uh, I think we do it every time anyway. I Beth, try not you've to. come to the right place and don't be scared. Oh, We're Beth. all going to pray for you. Her daughter is pregnant and she wants to be able to see the new grandbaby. Well, and then that's our prayer. Yep. Now everybody knows exactly how yep. to pray for you. Yeah. Oh. Francis David she it? was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Oh, goodness, Francis, all right, we're just going to get you gales on the list. All of you prayer warriors out there, this is two ladies that definitely need your help right now. And this is what our sisterhood, our member group is all about. That's right. We do sisters helping sisters. We do prayer requests uh, every day. Yeah. And um, we've got people that really do care and we'll follow up with you and check on you and make yeah. sure you're doing okay um colleen said it's the best hour and a half of her life oh my gosh you guys, you guys are, gonna are make so me cry. okay so um i do prefer to do the tight bond like this i don't know somebody else might remember how tammy does it but this is how 
I've always done it with these. So all you need is the form flex. Go get yourself some molds. The form flex lasts and lasts and lasts. It's amazing. Nina, we'll try to get some um, names put up on our um, private thread on, on Check Savvy Live so that you, you'll know who it is to pray for. Look at okay? that. Is that crazy? I can mold her. Form flex, I can mold her right around this thing. Now, I might have to put something to keep her feet down. Um, we might have to put something on her. The tight bond takes just a second to set up. Let me see if, oops. Let me put her foot down with the hot glue. Put your foot down. And see if I can get that to just hold everything for me. Just for a second. You got three requests for interviews. Yay, that's awesome. Formplex is so easy to use. Uh, personal ladies in group, yep. Aw, you guys are so sweet. Yeah, that's, um, you know, so that's why when um, Facebook and whatever else took my pages, but you, can't, you, can't, you, you know, can't shut us down. You can't, you can't shut down a community no. of menopausal crazy women. And so, you know, we're going to, we're, we're here forever. Oh, Jana, thank you for that testimonial. Oh, I hope the other ladies gosh. read that. Look at that. All right. I'm just going to put the one on because I've kept you guys long enough. But then, so we've got her down and look at how that tight bond just formed her. Whoops, where are you? There you are. Formed her right to it. And let's get this on and get her crown on. I think we might need to paint that. Uh, we wow. do, I need this. You know what I want? This painted is um, black. Um, paper, paper towel. towel. There, can you reach it? No, I'll just do this. It's okay. Oh. Oh. That's all right. Okay. All right, let's get this black because I think this has to be black. And, um, yeah, because you want it a little crazy. Oh, uh, you need to keep her down. You need to, let me put, hold on. Let me get a, a little bit of hot glue for her head. Ah, she really does stick great with the tight bond, but. Yeah, Kathy Dean said, grab Alice. Alice I is know, escaping. slipping. Uh, but obviously, you got to keep it. Um, they love it. it longer but I'm gonna put the cards on the other side and Watch another fingers. Wonderland sign so hopefully this will help uh, Judy no oh. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Alice down. Alice you need down. a rubber band around her until she's dry great idea well but I'm not sure that would work it might. It might, but right now, let's just hope that she just, I just need her to hang in there for like one minute. Oh, can I hold her? Yeah. Okay, I'll read her a, a story and tell her a little, yeah. sing a lullaby. This could have been gold too, you guys. This, uh, this topper thing would have been pretty in gold. Or uh, I might go back and do a little bit of gold on this little ring and then keep the rest black. Actually, you know what we need to do? Hi, Diane. My my niece is on. Hi, Diane. We're going to see you in September. Yeah, we're coming to town. Uh, I think what I'll do is when this all dries, I will use the rub and buff or both of them. Okay, you can let go. Um, or both of them. And I will add some gold on top of this so it'll match Alice and the words. Still not bad for as much was going on on this I project know. when mom said what are you going to do today and i said well because we got our auction tonight i said something probably a little easy <laughs> okay let's get some heat on that remember the very last thing i'll do at the very end is seal everything but i want to just let you get the visual Thanks, Diane. We've come this far. I gotta hang on just for a couple more minutes. We can all use three hands, she said. That's right. No. Okay. Oh crap. I must have picked that up. 
Um, okay, hold on. I'm not gonna let you look until I get her all, all set up. Where that was on my hand. Oh, I know. Put a little dab on I will put something on it. Let me get her crown on. I'm just gonna put it on with hot glue just for the visual. Oh my gosh. Amy, you just joined. You're just joining? We've only been on oh, for like three Amy. hours. <laughs> Whoever buys this lamp is going to be so happy. That's Cecile. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Okay, look. Look at this. So, uh, look at that with the stickles is drying. So now you can see what that stickles is look looks like but it takes about an hour plus to dry so just keep that in mind um i did get a finger smudge right there but yeah. we'll fix it i'll put something there yeah billy i don't know what yet but i'll put something there but come on that's stinking it's cute adorable. isn't it it's super look at cute all the hearts. Hearts, Yay. Hearts, hearts, hearts. they're just glad it's over like good <laughs> grief how long is this going to go on um you guys are so sweet uh I, sometimes I do. The other day I had that cute little black skirt on and I was um, putting some of this in uh -huh. on a plate and it wasn't full and it just spurted out everywhere all over my skirt and I went right into the kitchen, right into the, like a, I grabbed a wet rag. Jumped in the sink. And it all came right <laughs> off. So once this is sealed and everybody's stuck down, it's going to be spectacular. Thank you so much. For watching if you want to be part of our auction tonight at four o'clock my time seven eastern then gotta get over to kelly get over here you guys good just join studiomdaz.com and 25 dollars a month if you want to join and you can be in on all the great stuff that happens in our little world over here so all right i love you guys thank you so much for staying the whole time blew me away <laughs> i figured i'd lose you all at some point um okay for sisters i'll see you later love get your you. fingers get your fingers ready love you guys bye